Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Parang natin ang Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Thank you. So, Victoria Day, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday worship service. And welcome to our family in Zoom. Mga family na natin yan. Kung no? yung family, mag-isa sa FB Live. And uh, we acknowledge the presence of our past Pastor Wancho. Welcome. for all the testimonies. At sa mga hindi testimony, okay, I encourage you na mag-testimony the next time. Because the more we testify the goodness and faithfulness of God, no, wala pang ano eh, may doon ang okay? No, the more blessing, okay, your faithfulness will increase, uh, your faith will increase and more strength we can get from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Many people are weak for some reasons. Maybe because they've been waiting for this pandemic to get over. They want vacation. Alam natin yan. No? They want to see their families, to meet their families, but they cannot have it. Many people are, lost, are losing hope because of their debts. O yung mga utang. Na hindi mabayaran. They've been waiting for the Lord to answer their prayers and uh, answer uh they cry to the Lord. Many people are praying for good job and good salaries. But because of the status of the economy, nowadays, they cannot do anything but to stay on their job. Many people are weak until now because they cannot cope, cope up for the loss of their loved ones. So, marami na hihina. May narami ka ako niya kanya, di ba? Sisi squirly na tayo. So, Many people are weak because until now they're still waiting for their dreams to come to. Yung pangarap. Nagamig din ako dyan. Okay, think ka na niya. Yung desire niya kanina. And uh, many people are sick waiting for the miracles from the Lord. So people need strength. People need power. Did you say power? Power. People need healing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what we're going to talk about tonight. What is strength? What is power? And who can really be strong and powerful? At yan po yung pagbubulay-bulay natin ngayon. Samahan tayo ng Panginoon sa ating, uh, sa ating message for tonight. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we ask for your wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Speak to your people, O God. Lord, transform our lives, O oh God. We need your presence, O oh God. We cannot, we cannot do this without you, Lord. We need your presence, Lord. We need your strength. We need your power. Lord, just use me as your instrument of blessing tonight. Lord, bless your people. Bless your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mark 11, 23-24. Can we all rise up? Let us read the word of God. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Hallelujah. We receive it. So we see a very familiar verse, familiar verse, but powerful one, right? Coming from the lips of our Lord Jesus. Sabi ko sa Tagalog, katotohanan, sinasabi ko sa inyo na dapat ninyo malaman 
Kung sasabihin niyo sa bundok na yan, na tumalong siya sa dagat, na hindi kayo nagdududa, na kahit kapiraso ka nila, ito ay mangyayari. Ano man yung hiningin niyo sa pananangin, kung may pananalig kayo, na maniniwala kang tatanggapin niyo ito, ito ay mangyayari. Luke 17 verse 16, He replied, If you have faith as a small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, mulberry tree yan, di malboro tree, mulberry tree, be uprooted and plant in, plant, planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Kasi sabi, may nagsabi sa akin, mayroong ano, may malboro tree sa ano, sa Bible. Mulberry. Okay, would you say mulberry? Mulberry. Amen. So, sabi nito, kahit kasing liit lang ng buto ng mustasa, alam niyo ba yung buto ng mustasa, nakita na kayo? Dati di pa ako nakita yung nakita ako sa internet, no? Napakalit sa buto, alam niyo yung, yung pinhead. No? Ganun lang siya kalaki. No? Yung, yung aspili, yung puno ng aspili. Sabi nito, kahit kasing laki lang nito, pananalit niyo, eh, pwede niyo utusan ang puno niyan. No? At buhan niyo lang kayong sarili at ito ano sa dagat. Di ba? Tapos sa dagat, ito'y mangyayari. What is real strength? Real strength is the ability to move mountain. Whether they are mountain, whether they, these mountains are symbolic. Kasi sa kultura po ng Israel, no, madalas ginagamit ang bundok sa mga problema. Malalaking problema. Mabibigat na problema. Sa verse na binasa natin, Dito ang sinasabi ng Panginoon na kung may pananampalataya tayo, ano man ang problema mo, ay may kalutasan. Sabi mo na pa sa katabi mo, kapatid, may kalutasan din yan. Kapatid, may kalutasan din yan. Real strength is the ability to ask and receive anything from God. And if we're going to meditate this word, this is enough for us to have the power. Kung pagbubulay-bulayan natin ang salitang ito, ito lang, sapat na para magkaroon tayo ng kapangyarihan. But the question is this, do you believe in His Word? Do you believe in His promises? Real strength is to do beyond the ordinary. Yung mga kalampas tayo doon sa pag iisip ng karaniwang tao, At yun yung meron tayo bilang alagad ng Diyos. Yung malampasan natin yung beyond the ordinary. Bilang anak ng Diyos, bilang mananampalataya, yun yung meron tayo. We can do anything in Christ which will give us strength. We are overcomer. Jesus gave us the, the power to step on the works of the enemy. The works of the enemy. So real strength is to do beyond the ordinary. To do what's beyond the limit. To go beyond the natural. Hallelujah. Mark 16, verse 17 to 18. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And they will drink deadly poison. It will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick. And they will get me. Hallelujah. What a great promise. Sabi nito, in these signs, will a company who believe in my name. Si Jesus ang nagsasalita na ito, mga kapatid. Makapagpanayas ka ng demonyo. No? Makapag-speak. Speak in tongues ka. O bagong wika. O heavenly language. Hallelujah. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, I encourage you. To speak in tongues. Marami nagsasabi sa akin, o guys, dito sa katuruan na ito, dahil hindi na, hindi na naiintindihan. Ayaw nila kasi maranasan. Para sa kanila, hindi na daw kailangan ito. Sa panahon natin. Listen to this. Sabi ko sa katabi mo, listen to this. Do you need perfect prayer? Do you need to edify yourself? Or lumakas ang spiritual mo? Do you need to edify the church? Speak in tongues. Sabi ng iba, hindi na daw yan para sa ngayon. Kuminto na daw yan. Siya nabi ng Biblia. Masakay natin. Papapadala lang natin ito. Ah. No? Ito lang yung dagdag kaalaman. Pero mga balik tayo sa topic natin. 
First Corinthians 13, wali. Sabi kasi ng iba, natapos na daw ito eh. Let's clear it. Let's, be, let's make it clear. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for the tongues, they will cease. As for the knowledge, they will pass away. Kasi sabi nito, as for the tongues, they will cease. May hinto. Matitigil. It will cease. Hindi sinabing nahinto na. Can I hear amen? amen? Ito yung according to what we have read. Diba? And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. Those who believe in my name, they will drive out and they will speak in new tongues. Pagkakadagawin. Pag yung may believer, mangyayari yan. Those who believe in my name, they will drive out them as they will speak in tongues. Pinadaanan ko lang po yun para po sa ating dagdag na alaman. Amen? So let's go back to our topic. The verse tells us, tells us that these signs will accompany. Ang sabi dyan, these signs will accompany. Ano yung ibig sabihin nyo? Accompany kasama mo. Right? Kasama mo. At pag lagi mo kasama, nagiging kamukha mo. Nainuhala kayo doon? Sa mga asawa natin, di ba? Baka yung iba ayaw kumayag. So, pag lagi mo kasama, nagiging kakambal mo ang ibig sabihin dito. Nagiging kakambal mo. So, sabi ka, and this time will accompany those who believe in my name. Kasama mo lagi. Nagiging kakambal mo na siya. And I can say, this is beyond normal, beyond physical, beyond the natural. Ang tanong, is this symbolic or literal? Marami po dito literal na nangyari. The name of Jesus, nakapagpalaan sila ng demonyo, di ba? Alam natin yan sa Bible. Mga, marami tayo nagbabasa niyan. And ako mismo, in this generation, naranasan ko. Kasama ko pa yun si Pastor Ben at si Pastor Hill. Sa bahay na namin mismo, may, may tumawag. May tumawag ngayon, uh, isang babae, kasama dati ni, ni, nakasama ko sa bahay, na gusto magpa-pray. Uh, actually, Nakalimutan ko na siya, pinaalala ni Pastor Benny, nasa niyo magpapapray? Ha, nga pala. Okay, Pastor, pinapunta ko na rito. Napunta kami sa bahay. Pray kami. Di si Pastor Hill pa sa amin nakatira. Okay? Pray kami. No, pinapatanggap na siya ni Pastor Benny. Ah, ni Pastor, ah, ni Pastor, ni Pastor Hill. Hindi, 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 pray kami dito na siya kami. Hindi niya tinanggap. Ang sabi mismo ng babae, ayoko pa kung balis dito. Gusto ko pa siyang pahirapan. Wow! First time ko narinig yun mo. Tapos, eh di, siyempre bago lang ako nun, siyempre takot ako, pero hindi mga kasi mga, nagparak sa dobo yung mga pastor, yung nag-dilayhance namin yung, yung, yung babae, magsak. And after that, mga less than two minutes, binig ako tubig, sabi niya sa akin, ang kaliwanag ngayon. Sabi ko, sis, wala na lang tayo, binig ako. Parang ilaw namin. Maliwanag kami na, hindi ganito. Nasa kadiliman siya. Maging kami ni pastora. Ito ka namin. Inaalihan ang kanalagay ng kaaway. So, makasabi ko na literal ito. No? Literal ito. Anong nangyari? Okay? And even this chapter 2, during the Pentecost, nag-i-speak in tongues. Diba? Nagsalita sila ng mga bagong wika. Tapos yung mga nakarinig, no? Na mga iba't ibang national, nationality, narinigyan nila. Na yung sinasabi ng mga mga hudyo na yun, na hindi naman nag-aral, na ano mong lingwahe, na itindihan nila na yung sinasabi yung kaligtasan, salvation. Okay? O di ngayon, marami tayong patutuod dyan na nakapagsalita ng salita ng ibang 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 bansa na hindi niya alam yung sinasabi niya. Tapos may nakarinig. May tanong, ba't mo alam ba't ka marunong magsalita niyan? Ano yung sinabi ko? Nag-speak daw siya ng German. At yung German na yun, yung word na yun, ay yung pangailangan talaga ng tao. Love, it's about love. They will, they will pick up snakes with their hands. Si Paul natuklaw ng ahas. Di ba? Pero yung, yung ulo po, na ahas, yung pinaka, yung makabandag na ahas. Pero hindi siya namatay. Marami na, kaya nga marami na, namangha sa nakikita. And they healed the sick. The dead rise again in several locations by laying their hands. Right? So marami talaga dyan, literal. Pero ang tanong, meron pa bang dating sa atin ang mga kwento na to? Meron pa bang dating pag narinig natin to? 
o parang beat na lang or anamat na lang. Para mga Diyos sa ng Olympus, the gods and the goddesses. Parang yung mga Greek mythology na lang. O parang yung sa local na lang, si Bernardo Carpio at saka si Jezebel. O baka doon na lang ang dating sa atin. Kasi kung sinasa puso natin, ang mga kwento sa Biblia, mga kapatid, we take it from the heart. Inasa natin, mga pangako, hindi tayo lubusang manginihila. Sabi nga ni Pastor Emmer dati, pag nagalit ang pasyano, bumilits lang ha. Diba? So, ang ibig sabihin dito, manghina ka ba, it's a natural thing, pero hindi ka lubos na manghina, hindi ka ibuguko ng panghina. Because the verse says, this will accompany those who believe. Kasakasama mo, kakambal mo, magiging natural na sa'yo. Dahil kasama mo siya panagi. Listen to this. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, listen to this. Sabihin mo, kakambal, kakambal. ng pananalig ang mga himala. Sabihin mo ulit, kakambal ng pananalig ang mga himala. Diba? Kaya mali si Noro Honor, sabi niya, walang himala. Mayroong himala, ang dami sa Bible. Diba? Miracle signs and wonders will follow for those who believe in me. Sabi ni Jesus Christ. And He's true to His promises. Because God saved you yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hallelujah. Hindi siya nagbabago. Kahit ngayon, mga kapatid, mararanasan natin yan. And maybe you're already ex- experiencing it. Maari ngayon, nararanasan niyo na ito. It's just that uh, you're not, your eyes are not yet open to see those miracles. Pero nararanasan niyo na pala. Alam niyo, na, 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 hindi yung sinabi ko, nararanasan niyo na pala yung miracles, pero hindi pala open yung eyes niyo. Hindi pala, hindi niyo pala nalalaman, nare-realize na, ayun na pala, miracle na pala itong nangyayari sa akin. Nakasakasama ko ito yung mga, yung mga tao yung nagdalakad. Di mo nga alam kung sino yung mga COVID na kayo. Di ba? Sa so, totoo lang, di mo alam kung sino yung mga COVID. Baka hindi di, di na kuha ka lang ng COVID eh. But because Jesus is with you, miracles, signs, and wonders will follow. Amen. Di ba? Uri ng Diyos. Hallelujah. At hindi lang sa mga binasa natin, doon nalilimitahan kung ano yung himala na maaaring ipagkanood sa atin ng Panginoon. Maraming himala pa. No? So what is the source of the real strength? Sa nagbumula ito, ano bang pinagagalingan ng tunay na kapangyarihan? It's about faith. Jesus said, from those verses that we have read, that's faith. And what is faith? Faith is limitless trust in God. Hindi Friday, hindi Sunday na. Hindi WF. Hindi TTHS. It's limitless, timeless trust in God. Walang pinipiling panahon, walang pinipiling hangganan. You have faith. Tignan natin yung dalawang bulag na story sa Biblia. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When we had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and he asked him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. Sa panahon na yun, mga kapatid, ano ang pag-asa ng isang bulag? Na noon, wala pang surgery, wala pang gabot sa bulag. Wala pang operasyon. Kung meron man, mahirap sila. Wala pang bayad dyan, manamang. Mga mangbang pa sila. But these two blind men heard about Jesus and they, and they put their faith with Jesus. And they followed Jesus. Susunod-sunod sila kay Jesus dahil nandunan ang faith nila. 
Siguro, pag magitan ng ibang senses nila, no, maaaring yung tenga nila, hindi na pinapagamit nila kung so, naglalakad, no, yung maraming tao, kung nila, kung nasa Jesus, binabagit na Jesus, di ba? Para makasunod lang kay Jesus. Ang sabi nila, Jesus, uh, anak ni David, tulungan mo kami. At tinanong ni Jesus, sabi ni Jesus sa kanila, sa tingin nyo ba magagawa ito sa inyo? Sabi nila, oh, di ba? Makakita ba kayo? Oh, sabi nila. Then the Lord touched their eyes and He said, according to your faith, let it be done for you. And their eyes was restored. Hallelujah. The faith of the blind man moved the hand of the Lord. Hindi po, yung, 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 yung palang palataya nila, ang nag-move sa kamay ng Panginoon para hibungin ang kanilang mata. The faith of the blind man moved the hand of the Lord. The faith of the blind man moved the lips of the Lord to speak blessings. Dahil sa panampalataya nila, yung bibig ng Panginoon ay gumalaw, nagsalita para sa kagalingan nila. Sabi ng Panginoon, kung ano pinanaligan mo, yun ang, yung mag, ayun ang magaganap. According to your faith, it will be done for you. In, can you imagine in faith, true faith, the King of Kings and the Lord of the Lords ay magpapakilo, mapapakilos nyo ang kamay ng Diyos to do favor in you. Hallelujah. In faith, in true faith, the King of Kings and the Lord of the Lords mapapakilos mo ang kamay niya. Para gumawa ng pabor sa iyo. At hindi lang ka ngayon yung gumalang pati ang kanyang labi. Alam naman natin, if the Lord say it, it will happen. Ang sabi niya sa Genesis, let there be light. Di ba? At yung nangyari, and there was a light. What moved the hands of the Lord? What moved the lips of the Lord? Faith. The same faith that we can acquire and ask for the same things. The same faith, yung bulag na yun, kung meron tayong faith na ganun, the same faith na meron sila, kung meron tayong yun, we can acquire the same things even today. Can I hear amen? Consider what happened to the leper. Jesus heals a man with leprosy, Mark 1, 40 42 Man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean, he said. Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. Hallelujah. So, nakita po natin dito yung faith ng leper. Once again, move the hands of the Lord. The Lord touch the leper. Bawal noon yun. Hindi pwedeng lumapit ka sa may keto o hawakan mo yung may keto. Kapag may keto ka noon, ibig sabihin wala ka ng pag-asa, mag-isa ka na lang. Walang aalalay sa'yo. Walang sasama sa'yo. Marumi ka. Paano ka makakilos? Hindi mo sila pwedeng napitan. And the Lord went beyond what is ordinary. Beyond what is expected. He touched the untouchable. He touched the untouchable person who was a leper. Ang sabi niya, be clean. So, doble-doble ministration ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa kanya. The touch of the hands and the word of his mouth. And the leper became clean. Ano pa po ang, ang worse, ang mas worse sa sitwasyon noon? Kung meron isang tao may keto, walang gamot, incurable, pero ngayon, curable na siya. Yung bulag, na dati walang gamot. Pero ngayon, may gamot na rin sa bulag. Iba naman yung nagbubulag-bulagan, walang gamot doon. 
So, kung ano meron equipment sa buhay natin ngayon, sa mga tao na yun, ibig sabihin, wala kang pag-asa. Yung wala kang maasahang paglunas. Pero dahil may pananabi ka, lumalaw ang kamay ng Panginoon. And the Lord speak blessings for them. And we have another story. Gusto niyo pa ng kwento? Na, nababalikan niyo ito. Matangin na natin narinig ito, no? no? Kasi noon dati, noon, about faith, sabi ko dati, noong bago, narinig ko niyo. Narinig ko niyo. But no. Listen to this story. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid, just believe. Remember this word, don't be afraid, just believe. And she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and, the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. Alam na, sabi, patay na yan. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned. And once he stood, he stood up. Then Jesus told him, told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. So, the story ay nangyari ganito. Okay? Uh, sabi rito, babasahin natin kung yung sinabi ko, sabi ng Panginoon, Don't be afraid. Just believe. And she will be healed. A powerful sentence from the Lord. Do not be afraid. Just believe. Dapat dyan yung mga, yan yung mga paulit-ulit natin sinasabi kapag tayo natatakot. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, do not be afraid, just believe. Meron kang problema financial? Do not be afraid, just believe. Meron kang problema emotional, physical? Do not be afraid, just believe. At nice kung uh, tingnan nyo ng tingnan nyo to yun, We want you to notice this. This is not the faith of the girl that moved the Lord. No? Kasi nga patay na yung bata eh. Hindi yung, yung nangakailangan na yun, hindi yung faith. Hindi na nagmula ang faith. Kasi patay na siya eh. But the faith of, the, of her father, na si Jairus. Dito, madadagdagan yung pangunawa natin na how to move the hand of God. Hindi lang mula sa atin na tayo na nga kailangan, but those people who cares for us, those people who believe in Jesus, can intercede for you. Yun ang pwedeng magpamove ng, ng, ng kamay ng Panginoon. Magpamove ng lips ng Panginoon. And even the feet of the Lord. Yung panampalataya ng iba, pwedeng pakinggan ng Panginoon para tulungan niya. Ito nga sa kwento nito, dahil malayo yung bahay na Jairus, yung Panginoon, naglakad pa nga. Papunta sa kanilang bahay. The Lord, the King of Kings, and the Lord of the Lords, hiniling, hiniling, hinilingan niya na magpunta sa kanyang bahay. At nagpunta nga. At ano nangyari, the spirit of girl return. Hallelujah. So when Jesus is in the house, there is he, there is he. When Jesus is in the house, there is resurrection, provision, protection. When Jesus is in the house, naked. Kung yung spirito na tao, mga kapatid, sa katawan niya, pinabalik pa. Yung pa kayang katinuan ng isang tao, na nawala sa kanya, hindi pwede pabalikin ng Panginoon. Yung trabaho na wala sa iyo, hindi ba kaya pabalikin ng Panginoon yung trabaho lang yun? Yun na walang pag-ibig ng isang tao na naligaw ng landas. Hindi ba kaya pabalikin ng Panginoon? Pag-ibig lang yun. Sabi mo nga sa katapin mo, pag-ibig lang yun. Yung puhunan mo sa negosyo, nawala. Hindi ba kaya 
Pabalikin ang Panginoon niya. Pera lang yan. Sabi mo sa katay mo, pera lang yan. Alam mo yung natin ng Panginoon. Pero, may sininapin ito. Dito na, hindi ito pananalig ng isang patay na. Yung sabi ko nga kanina, di ba? Kundi pananalig ng kanyang ama. I believe, kasama rin dito yung pananalig ng kanyang ina. So, kung tayo ay may pananalig, mga kapatid, maaari tayong lumapit sa Panginoon para sa iba. Kaya kung mahina kayo sa pananalig, lumapit kayo, sumana ka sa pananalig. At hayaan siyang lumapit sa Panginoon. Amen? Meron pa tayong isang isang kwento, Acts 9, 36-42. In Jopa, there was a dis- disciple named Habita, in Greek name Dorcas. She was late, she, she was always doing good and helping the poor. About the time she became sick and died, and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lydia, Lida was still in Jopa. So when the disciple heard that Peter was in Lida, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went there, and when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood around him, no? the Dorcas, crying and showed him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas has made while she was still with them. Peter sent them all out of the room, inalabas sila lahat. Then he got down on his knees, the moon shop, he prayed, turning toward the dead woman, and he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented them to, to them alive. This became known to all, all listen to this, huh? this became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Okay. So, nabang yung kweto, no? So, lalagyan po yung diin, yung pinakahuli. Many people believe in the Lord. Hindi kay Peter. Okay, malinaw yun, ha? Alam kasi nila kung sino yung pinanaligan nila. Si Peter ginamit lang na instrumento. And sa verse 36, balikan na akong verse 36. Papadaanan ko lang to, no? Sa, sa, uh, uh, sa 38 pala. Uh, sorry, sa 39. Sabi nito, all the widows stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas has made while she was asleep there with them. No, pinakita rito yung mga ginawa daw ni Dorcas na mga robes, na mga damit, nung buhay pa siya. No? Ibig sabihin yun, no, pinakita, pinapakita nila doon na, si, na, si, na si, si Dorcas is very useful. No? Naasahan nila, nakatulong nila. So dahil nga yus ko, hindi ng Panginoon, no? Kung pinahaba ang buhay. Kaya mahirap yung walang ginagawa. Hindi yus ko. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be yus ko. Amen. Ang mahalaga na tingnan natin dito yung pananalig ng mga babae na nagluluksa, na sabi na may magagawa, yung pan, may, yung nagluluksa, may magagawa yung, uh, yung wala silang magagawa kasi yung panampalataya nila kulang, pero may isang tao may gagawa para sa kanila. At, pro, at prove naman yun si Peter yun. Kinala nila. So, so dahil nga, nandun, kinasihan ng Diyos. No? May panampalataya, na mas malakas sa kanila, kinasihan ng Diyos si Peter. At uh, kaya meron tayong ministry of intercessor. And I encourage you lahat, magiging mga nasa Zoom, guys, Kung meron po kayong prayer request, I encourage you to send to us at ipagpipray po yan ng mga kapatid nating nasa intercessory ministry. No? Na malalakas at kanilang paya ng palataya. So, bayon tayo sa kwento. Katulad ni Jairus, tinawag niya ang Panginoon, direkta. Di ba? Pero sa kwento ito, si Tabitha, wala na si Jesus nito. Makita sa langit. Okay. So, ang tinawag yung disciple na nagpagaling at bumuhay, hindi si Peter ha, ang Panginoon pa rin. Kaya nga sabi sa bandang huli, di ba? And many people believe in the Lord. Okay? Mark 9, 23, if you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for, for one who believes. Walang imposible sa naniniwala. Miracle happens when, when God initiates plus God's power opening. 
Para hindi naman magkahimala na hindi natin na hindi natin hinihingi sa Panginoon. Siya lang ang nagpupusak. Meron din namang himala na nagmumula sa panalangin. Man's faith and prayer of faith plus God's power when they agree, when they fuse together, miracles happen. So kung manalig ka at ipanalig mo ay nakatugma sa Diyos, may magyayari. Pero kapangyarihan lang ng Diyos, mga kapatid. Kung wala ka naman panalig, huwag ka na umasa na magyayari yun. Pero bagamat hindi natin nililimitahan ang, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos, Dahil kung gusto niya gumawa ng imala, kahit manalig ka o hindi ka manalig, kahit kung gusto niya, magagawa niya. Amen? But do you notice this in the Bible? God always involved people. Laging mayroong kasali, mga tao in creative process. Mananalig sila, tapos uh, magpipray, tapos sasagot ang Panginoon. May sagot. When truly believing prayers matches God's power, miracle can explode. Nandiyan ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos, hindi nagbabago. Ngunit ang tanong, lagi ba nandiyan ang ating tayo ng panataya? Sa kwento kay Tabita, the people ask Peter to do something for them. Therefore, confess your sin to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of righteous person is powerful and effective. Mahalaga talaga ang confession, mga kapatid. And be righteous sa pamamagitan naman ni Christ. If you are not righteous, your faith is not that strong. And you know what I mean to become righteous. That's all because of Jesus. And you can also fight like Peter, who can pray for you, who can pray with you, for you. Makita kayo ng, ng, ng Peter na magpipray for you. And the faith of another person can actually benefit another. At yung nakita natin sa bago ito, gaya sa nangyari sa anak ni Jairus, faith ng ama niya, ang susi para mabuhay ang kanyang anak. Pamisan-pisan, may mga gumagnayari ang gimana. No? Na walang ginagawa ang tao kung gimana langin lang. Prayers can, ay yung gano'n ano natin, di ba? Sa South, prayer can do miracles. Di ba? Walang ginagawa kung di prayer lang. No? Mark 9, 29, he replied, this kind can come out only by prayer. So dito sa kwento na ito, may isang anak na inalihan ng job ko, ng demonyo. Mula sa pagkabata niya, tinatapon niya sa lili niya sa apo. No? O sa, sa, sa tubig. No? Nagpapakira pa siya. So nagtanong, kung tinawag, tinawag yung uh, tinawag ng ama, si Jesus, na hindi na mapagaling ng mga dis- disipulo niya. No? Pero, pinalayas ito ng Pakiyon, ano naman natin. At nagtanong ang mga disciple kay Jesus Christ, bakit hindi namin mapalayas ang demonyo? Di ba? At itong sabi niya, sabi ng, sabi ng, uh, ng, 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 ng Jesus, sa panalangin mo, this kind come out only by prayer. Akala ko nga, nung di pa ako sa talagang yung mga, kahit sa inyo, pwede magpalayas ang demonyo. Kasi may kapit-pahay kami yun, lagi nang sabi, Lumayas ka dito, demonyo ka! At kung hindi, hindi naman pala Christian yun, naman nakapagpalaasin pala, iba pinapalayas, asawa pala yun. So iba naman yun, iba yun. Kaya pala hindi mo palayas, hindi so, pala siya believer. Okay. So only by God's word, it will happen. Although this word is initiated by prayer. Prayer and faith. At kung magkatugla ang prayer life, ang prayer life natin at yung faith natin, natin will be impossible. Those who have faith have strength. Ang tunay na lakas, mga kapatid, hindi sa pera. Hindi sa, hindi sa kayamanan. 
hindi sa charm, hindi sa political power, hindi sa popularity, hindi sa physical force, but faith. Because faith can move mighty hand of God. Prayer can move mighty lips of the Lord pronouncing blessing. When we pray according to His will, He hears us. So exercise your faith, mga kapatid. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, practicing mo ang iyong palataya. Practicing mo ang iyong palataya. So it will become more and more powerful pag pinapractice natin. And if you don't think you have, you don't have enough, enough faith, ask God for more faith. And even His disciples, ang sabi niya sa Luke 75, Dasa, the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. Mga kapatid, marami tayo mga pinagdarasal sa ating buhay na mangyari. Alam niyo po yun? Mga pangarap. Marami sa ating mga, mga panalangin. Pero, naipagdadasal niyo ba ito? Lord, to increase my faith, baka increase my salary. No? Tawa si Brother Max. Nagpul sa salary, no? Okay, pray natin yan, Brad. Magal na. So, may nagdasal pa sa atin na Lord, it is our faith. So, we have to go back to the childlike faith, mga kapatid. Yung prayer ng bata na hindi matitinag, na kapag pinakakuhan mo, ang masyad tayo papaya, magbukas, rain or shine, nakabihisin. Pumulog, Lord. Umula, lumindol, pag tinanong mo siya, saan ka pumunta? Saan mo alis tayo? No doubt. Childlike faith. Kaya ang sabi ni Henry Christ, unless your faith becomes like this little children, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. Ang problema kasi sa atin, mga kapatid, minsan, dumudulong tayo. Oo, oh, dumudulong tayo. Masyado. Ang, ang epekto pa ng pagdudulong natin, nagdududa pa tayo. Dati nung mga bago tayo, yung faith natin, ganun ka ano eh. Ganun lang kasinti, ganun ka childlike faith eh. Pero misa may mga, may mga tao na nag-aaral, nag-aaral ng doctrine, mahalaga. Pero imbis na, imbis na yung matutunan nila, mapabuti, nagkakaroon pa ng pagdududa. Dapat, the more the knowledgeable we get, the more faithful we become. We can bless only by going back to the simplicity of faith. And in case we lack of faith, mga kapatid, ask for more faith. We can ask, we can ask those people who have a strong faith to intercede for us. So mga kapatid, kung dumating sa buhay mo, yung pananalig mo ay, ay malakas naman. No? Yung talagang walang, talagang mainit ka, talagang wala kang duda, talagang napakainit mo sa Panginoon, yung relasyon mo rast, napakainit sa Diyos. It's time to intercede to other people. So they will benefit from the power of your faith. Hallelujah. Pag malakas ang faith mo, nag-fasting ka, nag-prayer fasting ka, ilang weeks na lang yung prayer fasting. Mag-text ka naman doon sa lagi na pipray sa'yo. Brother Reggie, ano gusto mo pag-pray mo sa'yo? Di ba? Hindi yung, Brother Reggie, pag-pray mo naman ako. Di ba? Pag-pray mo naman. Pag malakas naman tayo, it's about time. No? Let, let them benefit from our faith. It's time to intercede to other people. So napakalaki yung ministry kung tayo'y mananalig at ipapananalig ang iba mga kapatid. I hope marami tayo ng tunang ngayong gabi. Are you blessed? Amen. Can we just call the worship team? Can we just call the worship team? Alam niyo mga kapatid, ilan sa atin dito, o marami sa atin malamang, 
na nawawalan ng pag-asa sa buhay. Okay? Maaring about your health, about kalusugan niyo, o yung mga mahal niyo sa buhay. Ipag-pray niyo sila. Ask people who are strong in faith. Kung alam mo na mahina pa ng palataya mo, lumapit ka sa malakas pa ng palataya, mag-text ka, magpa-pray ka. Andyan, andyan ang ating mga uh, worship, uh, uh, intercessory ministry. Kung yung mga espiritu ka nawala, napapabalik, mga kapatid. Yung pag-asa pa sa ating buhay, hindi na kaya pabalik ito. Yung good health ba, hindi kaya pabalik ng Panginoon. Yung katinuan ba na isang tao, hindi kaya pabalik ng Panginoon. Yung kadalingan ba, hindi kaya ibigay ng Panginoon. Do not stop believing no matter what. Pero, bisa naniniwala tayo. Pero, bisa naiinip tayo. O kumukupas ang ating parang palataya. Yes, naniniwala ako, pero naiinip tayo. At yun yung mga pandaraya sa ating ng kaaway, mga kapatid. Kaya kasi gusto ng kaaway na lagi tayong nagdududa. Matakot. Kasi pag tayo nagduga o natakot, nagsasabi ng ating pahinan. Sabi ng Panginoon, do not be afraid, only believe. Ano di ba how many times sinabi ng Bible do? Do not be afraid. 365 times. At hindi ito, hindi ito aksidente na meron tayong 365 days in a year. So in araw-araw, sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon, do not be afraid. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. At magandang ulit-ulitin yan mga kapatid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Ulit-ulitin mo sa sarili. Pwede mo kang ilagay sa pintuan ng bahay mo, sa pintuan ng rep, sa, sa banyo, o sa mga badalas magpunta sa kusina, sa computer mo. Because fear takes away faith. And faith is we need to please God. And the scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Sa ating mga napakinggan, mga kapatid, maaari din na sa atin ay nangangailangan ng kalakasan ngayong araw na ito, ngayong gabi na ito. Maaari nawawalang kayo ng pag-asa. Maaari yung kalakasan ng pananapalataya, nais mo. Maaari yung, yung karamdaman o, o, o yung kalusugan nyo na iniisip-iisip nyo. O maaaring isang member ng pamilya mo ang niisip mo na mapapagbalik pa ba yung katinungan o yung kalusugan ng aking kapatid? O maging mga kilala niyo na lang, mga kaibigan niyo. O kayo mismo nakakaramdam ng sakit sa katawan. Sa ating mga binasa, mga kapatid, have faith. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. It's a privilege na maging part ng Sunday service, SEI. Uh, tayo po itadako sa, sa pagkakalungog. Magbabalik na ikaw po at pagbibigay. Uh, Katatanda po natin sa introduction ng ating kapatid na uh, preacher ay uh, everyone needs uh, power, anyone, everyone needs uh, healing, any, everyone needs uh, strength. But we cannot, we cannot uh, deny the fact that we need also blessing. Although pinakinawit natin na uh, Jesus is more than enough sa atin but uh, we cannot deny the fact na kailangan natin ng blessing. Ang ating po scripture ay matatagpuan sa Proverbs 3, 9, and 10. Ang sabi doon, 
Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops, and your barns, barns will be filled with overflowing, and your vats will drink over with new wine. Sabi sa Tagalog, si Yahweh ay handogan mo, bahagi ng iyong kayamanan, pinakamainam na animo sa kanya ibigay sa gayong ikamalig mo ay lagi ng haapaw, ang sisidla ng inumin mo ay hindi na matutuyuan. Makikita po natin na yung yung ating pong provision, yung ating pong blessing ay hindi po nanggagaling sa ibang kaparaanan. Katulad ng iba, yung pag-ulubo natin, parang yung church, ginagawa nga, uh, ano po tawag doon, yung uh, wishing well. Pag-ulubo natin, parang wishing well, tapos nag-wish tayo na um, dadating yung kaimanan o kaya yung dumadaan sa ating mga Facebook, sa mga post na mayroong mga file ng mga Uh, bills, pag tayo nag-amen, nag-like, tayo ay magkakaroon ng mga kayamanan o kaya yung may mga uh, jewelries, gold, nadadaanan nyo yun, di ba? Nakikita natin, pag hindi kayo nag-type ng amen, ay hindi kayo magkakaroon ng maraming kayamanan. Pag nag-type kayo, ay dadami yung yung kayamanan. Yun po. At uh, yung may mga tumatawag sa atin na ganito, ibigay mo ang number mo, ibigay mo ang account number mo, at ikaw ay nanalo ng 20,000 KD o dollars, no po. Hindi po yun yung paparaan ng Diyos para tayo ay pagpalain. Kundi yun sabi doon ay yung andugan natin ng Panginoon ng uh, bahagi ng ating kayamanan. Although galing sa kanyang lahat, yung ating kayamanan, yung ating mga kinikita, even yung palakasan natin galing sa kanya, yun po yung pag-acknowledge na wala pa tayong maaaring uh, sabihin na sa, sa atin, yun po. Para kung ano yan, yung talbos ng kamote, pag tinatalbosan natin yung kamote ay, ay binabawasan natin yung ating finances, binibigay natin sa Panginoon, binibigay natin sa church, sa tinutulong natin sa mga tao, binabawasan natin, tinatalbosan natin, ay yung po ay magsasanga. Yung po ay magsasanga, nalung dadami. At mayroon pa mga hidden, nasa ilalim ng lupa, mayroon mga laman. Yung po, parang kamote yan. Kaya sa oras ito ay medyo talbosan natin yung ating kamotehan. Yung ating finances ay bawasan natin. Uh, bilang testimony po, kalina po testimony, ako po ay nag-birthday. Although three days ago na yun, ako po ay umabot na sa 59 years of age na po. Pero, parang pinayin natin. Almost half of, the, of my age ay nisquento na dito sa point ay Exactly 29 years in Kuwait last May. At kung hindi ko po ako kumikilala sa Panginoon, nandun po talaga yung pagpulang. Yung kapulangan, hindi pa kami married doon. Ang ginagawa ko dyan sa city, nangungupahan ako pag wala akong pamasahe, inahalupa ito yung mga sopa. Kasi pag Biyernes may mabisita, nalalagnag yung mga coins na nakakuha akong pamasahe. Pero nung ako ay nabunagin, isa nang magbigay sa Panginoon, hindi na po ako nagahalupay ng mga na mga, mga piso-piso o mga hundred pesos para pamasahe. Sapagkat so, pinagalooban na po tayo ng sasakyan, inabong mga mga pins, mga pins ko doon sa sasakyan ko, yun po yung pinupuot ko, binibigay ko sa mga gasoline boy. Ganun po. Uh, yun po yung mga pagpapahal pa ngayon at hindi ko naranasan na ako yung nagkulang at alam ko na habang tinatalbusan ko yung aking kamutihan ay, ay dumadami yon Hindi ko naman nakikita ay yung nga sabi ko may hidden, may mga hidden na laman sa ilalim yun. At ganoon na po, ang nangyari ay umaasa po ako sa Panginoon. Kasi sa sabi nila, pag, uh, pag uh, nagbibigay ka, kailangan mag faith. Kasi pag, hindi ka, pag nagbibigay ka lang ng bigay, wala kang faith, ay mababangkar ka. Uh, naalala ko rin kanina lang, abang nag-meditate ako, ako ang meditate ni si Sirko, ako po ay hindi naman pagmamalaki, nagtapos po ako ng... Uh, Uh, third gen accounting and natapos ko yung banking and finance. Pero yung mga principles po doon ay hindi ko po nagamit kasi carpenter yung pinasa ko dito. But the principles of God para magkaroon ng blessing literally para magkaroon ng pera ay yun po yung ginamit ko yung malaki 310 itong Proverbs 3910. Yung po mga principles about money sa Bible yun po ang ginamit ko. Ah, Kaliwali na po yung, ah, yung banking and banking and robbery at tawag ko doon sa customer. Yung accounting, hindi na po yung kailangan i-apply yung mga uh, accounting principle sa banking and finance principle. Subayat so, ang i-apply po natin ay yung uh, principles ng uh, 
the Bible about uh, having money, about, about having provision na Panginoon at hindi po mag-ubos ang, ang uh, provision ng Panginoon. Hindi ko po naranasan na nagkulang, wala po nung nakilala ko ang Panginoon. By the way, ay bukod po sa birthday ko last three days ago ay 26 na po years yung aming relasyon ng aking asawa. Hindi po secret yun kasi I think it will be first. May mga relationship na secret pero I have to be secret every year ay pinopos po yun. Kaya 26 years na po yung aming relasyon ng aking asawa. Salamat po sa Panginoon, tinatawag mo po mga asawa. Pagkalaan po natin ang mga kapo at kaloob. Pakilan Diyos, salamat po Panginoon sa oras na ito na kami ay nakapagbigay o Lord God, even Panginoon, yung uh, kapatid na hindi ko nakayanan sa balit, Panginoon, may desire pa kami bigay o Lord God. Pagkalaan po po Panginoon ang aming mga trabaho. Salamat sa patuloy na kalakasan na pinagkakalaw mo o Lord God. Yung gawa ng aming mga kamay yung prosper mo o Lord God. I speak uh, strength Panginoon sa bawat isa o Lord God. I speak provision sa bawat isa pa rin sa amin, O Lord God. Hindi lamang kami, Panginoon, kundi ang mga nire-represent namin, pamilya namin, O Lord God. Salamat po, ayaw mo na magamit ang uh, nalikom na ito, Panginoon, para sa ikanalawang pa ng iyong gawain, O Lord God. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. 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 Balik natin lahat ng papuri sa Diyos. Amen. Do you believe that God answer your prayer tonight? Do you believe that you receive healing tonight? You receive strength, you receive comfort. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. We believe in your words, Lord. You said to him who believe, nothing is impossible. Dahil ginawa mo ng posible ang lahat, sabi na yung mga salita. To him who is able to do immeasurably, more than what you can ask or imagine. You can do more than what we can imagine, what we could have asked tonight, Lord. You can do that, oh God, because you are a miracle-working God. Once again, Father, truly this season, Lord, is a season for you to move and to show your power and your miracle. And we believe, oh God, we're still crying for the healing, oh God, of those people who are infected with COVID-19. Ang totoo niyan, Panginoon, naririnig namin at nakikita. We observe by our own eyes, like what Psalms 91 says, Thousands may fall at your side, ten thousand on your right right hand. Naririnig namin libo libo parin panginoon ang namamatay. We cry for help tonight, Lord, believing that you are going to do something, O oh God, believing that you are going to spare the lives of these people, especially these people who do not know you, Lord. They are dying and going to hell. Father, have mercy upon this soul, so oh God. We've seen how we work miraculously. Marami na kaming may panalangin, Panginoon, na nasa bingit ng kamatayan. Yet you heal them, oh God. Ganito ang nagagawin mo pa rin sa mga pinapanalangin namin. And even tonight, Lord, those who are at the Zoom, in, on FB's, Lord, watching, following us, whatever they need that they cried out to you tonight, when they, they've been challenged by this message, that they can ask, Lord, they can ask healing, they can ask the provision for the needs. Father, right now, release all these blessings that we need. Release the blessing that these people are in need for those who are in Zoom meeting, those who need peace and here in this place, so oh God. Lord, people are not speaking, but we know that they are in need. Their hearts are crying, oh God, when they're alone with you. That's 
that's why, Lord, you can hear this cry. You said when you pray, go to your room, close the door, talk to your father and speak to him. And your father who sees you in secret will reward you openly. Father, reward these people openly who believe in you, who believe in the power of your words, who believe that even today, God is a miracle working God. You never change, so God. You never change, Lord. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That's why we are shouting our voices to be heard. That people should not lose their hope believing in you. Believing in you for in coming to you, we must believe, oh God. Right now, we join our hearts. Tonight, Lord, I pray, increase our faith. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith. Let us reach that level of faith that you wanted us, so oh God, to have. So that, Lord, miracles once again will be seen, will manifest in this ministry that you have called upon us. Lord, those who believe in you, you said in your word, they shall speak in tongues. They shall pray for the sick and the sick shall recover. They shall drink poisonous things, but they will not die because of the power that we have in you. Lord, help us to believe that these words are not our words. These words are your words, oh God. These words are alive. They are power. The only thing that we need to do is to believe in you. Even our technologies are going high, rising above. Science, Lord, is rising above. Knowledge, oh God, and wisdom is increasing. But still, oh Lord, your word says that those for those who believe nothing is impossible. We believe in a living God. We believe in a God of miracles. We believe in a God who loves to bless people. We believe in a God who always saves and continues to save people. Lord. I live up to you tonight, not only Mabola Center, but the whole GCI's church, Shoga. Whole GCI church. And those who count themselves GCI following us through the internet, to our virtual services. I live up to you, each one, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith. Let us see you as you are, oh God. Let us know you as you are. Speak, and we will hear. Move, Lord, and miracles are going to happen. Prepare this church, Lord, for a bigger ministry and greater things are coming in the future. Greater things, Lord, are coming. Revival started and it's continued to come, to come, oh God. We are expectant, oh Lord. That's what we believe. We trust you. We trust you, Lord. You will not put your children into shame. You are our own, Lord. The lifter of our head, oh God. And tonight, Lord, whatever we receive from you, any up and from the people, appreciation, thanksgiving, salute, oh, we give it back to you.
to you because they are yours alone. They are yours alone. All glory belongs to you. Spirit, oh Lord. Thank you, Father, wherever we go. Signs and wonders will follow. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Continue, Lord, to keep us under your wings that we may remain in your presence. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.